Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to review and test out this Black & Decker Easy Steam Compact Iron. And we were looking for an iron and we found this one at Walmart. So this is the one that we decided to purchase. Um, it has some information on the front of the box here. Let's take a look at the side as well. Um, it talks about some of the different features here and we'll check some of those out when we um, take a closer look at the iron. It does have a warning down here, so make sure to read through that before you decide if you want to purchase and use the Black & Decker Easy Steam Compact Iron. Let's take a look at the side, uh, this side of the box here. Okay, so um, I'm going to take the iron and um, everything else that's in the box out, and let's take a closer look at it. Okay, so here's what was inside the box. Here is the iron, um, and it had a plastic bag around it and like a plastic piece at the front here. I've already taken those off and gotten rid of them. And then it does have a plastic piece here um, with, um, you know, it's attached to the plug. So I do need to cut this off still, and I'll do that shortly. Um, and then here is the use and care manual. And this is really important that you read through this and understand it completely before you ever try to use the Black & Decker Easy Steam Compact Iron. This use and care manual will tell you everything that you need to know on how to use the Black & Decker Easy Steam Iron both safely and properly. And always make sure that you take all safety precautions. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the iron now and um, we'll go through some of the different parts and pieces on it. Okay, so I've moved over to the ironing board and I've cut the plastic piece off the plug here. And before we do anything else, I'm just going to uh, talk about some of the different parts and pieces on the iron here. Uh, right here, this is the sole plate. And I'm just going through these in the order that they're in the use and care manual. Uh, right here is the spray nozzle. Uh, right here is the water fill opening. So this is where you pour the water into. Um, it does say in the use and care manual that this iron is designed to use tap water. Um, right here is the fabric select dial. Um, and before you plug in the iron and before you unplug it, you want to make sure that it's set to the minimum setting. Um, the next thing is the spray mist button, which is right here. Um, here is the power light. Um, this is the 360 pivoting cord, um, so you can see how that turns around there. And then um, right here is the fabric guide. So this gives you recommendations um, on which setting to use based on which fabric you're ironing. Um, and then here is the heel rest. Um, so when you uh, set the iron down, it can stand up like that. Um, and then here is the water tank. So I'm going to fill the iron up with water now. Um, and before you do that, you need to make sure that the iron is both unplugged and cooled all the way down. Um, and I'm just going to use tap water and I'm going to fill it up to the max level here. Um, and again, this is where uh, the water uh, fill opening is right here. So I'll do that now and then I'll be back and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so I have the iron filled up with water to the max fill line, and it's kind of hard to see there, but um, it is filled up to the max fill line with water, and I'm just about ready to plug the iron in. I have the fabric select dial set to minimum, um, and I'm going to be ironing a cotton shirt. So the recommended setting for cotton is setting number six. So once I do plug the iron in, I'm going to change the fabric select dial to uh, setting number six. So, and then it does say in the use and care manual, allow the iron about two minutes to heat up to the desired temperature. Okay, so let me plug the iron in here. Just gonna make sure that the cord isn't tangled up. And then I'm going to plug this in here. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to plug the iron into the wall and then I'm going to change the fabric select dial to um, setting number six here. There we go. And then I'm going to let the iron heat up for about two minutes and I'll be back and we'll test out the iron. 
Okay, so it's been about two minutes and you can see that the shirt here is pretty wrinkled. Um, so let's test the iron out and see how well it does. And I'm just going to move the iron uh, over the shirt as we go here, just constantly moving the iron because I don't want to burn the shirt. Um, and look at that, I mean, it's really uh, getting most of those wrinkles out. Let's test out the spray button here, get some water on the shirt. Um, and yeah, I mean, so far I'm really liking um, what the iron's doing here. So um, it's definitely getting most of these wrinkles out. Okay, so I'm going to set the iron uh, down here and off to the side and let me rearrange the shirt and we'll try ironing a different area. Okay, so here's a different area of the shirt and there's a lot of wrinkles in this area too. So let's test out the iron again here and I'm just constantly moving the iron and you can see it just really does get rid of a lot of those wrinkles. Let me use the spray button again here and yeah, look at what a great job it's doing. Um, I'm really happy with this iron so far. And it's doing a great job getting the wrinkles out of this shirt. All right, so I've tested out the iron here and I want to give my opinion on it. Let me set the iron down here. All right, and before we unplug the iron, we want to uh, move the fabric selector dial uh, back down to the most minimum setting here. There we go. Okay, now we can unplug the iron. Okay guys, so I have the iron unplugged and you do not want to leave the iron unattended until it cools all the way down and then you can store it away. So I want to give my opinion on this iron. I like it. Um, you know, I think the iron worked really easily for me. Um, you know, I like the features that it does have, um, such as the fabric select dial and it gives you those recommended settings uh, depending on what you're ironing. Um, and the iron did a great job on the shirt that I was ironing, so I'm really happy with it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.